As photographers and filmmakers, we tend to be very visually oriented. However, audio is one of the most important components of any film. Yes, we can use music to score our films, and we often do, but chances are that at some point you will need to get some good, clean audio to support your film storyline. Being able to capture good audio is critical to producing a great film or video. I know it's been said before, good audio can save not-so-great footage. But unfortunately, the reverse is absolutely not true. The best video footage can't overcome a bad audio recording. In a case like that, the best we can do is overlay the video with some music. Unfortunately for us, the SLR shooters, audio recording is one of the Achilles heels of these video-capable digital SLRs. While the video these cameras can capture is absolutely stunning, and they provide us with unprecedented creative control and flexibility, these cameras were just not designed for capturing good audio. Luckily for us, there's no shortage of options for capturing great audio out in the field or in your studio. During the next hour, we're going to cover many different techniques and equipment options that you can employ for capturing audio in the field. And we'll also cover how to process the audio once you're ready to edit your footage. But let's start by talking about why it's very difficult, if not downright impossible, to capture great audio with the current crop of video capable DSLRs. There certainly are a number of reasons for this, but let's start with AGC, which stands for Auto Gain Control. In a very basic sense, AGC system tries to even out the highs and lows of an audio recording in an attempt to create as even an audio signal as possible. In theory, this sounds great, and in certain situations, it may even work. But as filmmakers, we want absolute control over the shape and quality of our audio to fit our storyline as much as possible. I mean, we've spent a lot of time trying to control imagery to be exactly the way we want to. We should be doing the same for audio. To illustrate the point, you can think of AGC as only being able to shoot your video using a fully automatic exposure mode. In other words, letting the camera set exposure completely without you having any control whatsoever. In certain situations, that may even work, but more often than not, it would lead to some pretty awful footage. AGC is at its worst when you have two distinct sound sources at different levels. As an example, you can think of someone like me in this image standing near the ocean trying to narrate a scene. You know, as I try to speak, the AGC system tries to adjust the level of audio recording to capture my narration. And as I pause between sentences or even between words, the AGC system then adjusts the other levels to capture the sound of the breaking waves behind me. The result being an audio with levels that fluctuate pretty widely, but to make matters worse, that fluctuation in audio levels often causes some of the audio to be clipped. I'm going to play back for you a quick audio clip from this scene so that you can see um, this effect. Making sure that you put the welfare of the wildlife ahead of any images that you're making. If you're stressing an, an animal while you're trying to make the image, stop. Please do not stress the animals. No image is worth putting an animal in peril. Well, as you could tell, that, uh, the sound quality there was pretty awful. I recorded the narration a few years ago uh, in a situation where I forgot to bring my whole recording setup that allows me to uh, capture great audio. And you can certainly hear that AGC effect full force there as the waves were crashing, you know, my voice would get clipped, would go way too high. Um, and also the voices of surf would actually drown my voice from time to time. Okay, I think I've made my point on um, AGC. Let's move on. Well, because of the challenges of recording using AGC, we're now seeing camera manufacturers enable manual audio gain controls on some of the cameras. Some have even added meters so you can visually monitor your audio levels. When the Canon 5D Mark II first came out, it did not have any manual controls for audio. With a subsequent uh, firmware release, Canon added uh, manual controls, which makes it much easier to record audio directly into the camera.